Good morning, YouTube. It is 8.16 a.m. on the 26th of June. I wanted to discuss something with you guys. We've got people that we were trying to show that they were in error, and they tried to twist what we said. Um, I don't need to name the sister's name. You've probably seen her all over my videos, and you probably see me on her video. I just don't want them to um, construe that I'm going to support a secularized church and the way that they mislead their flock into in their attitudes their attitudes are out for one thing and that's money they're using God's house as a business and Jesus says don't make God's house a den of thieves you put an offering plate in somebody's face that goes to contradictory of what this Bible is this Bible doesn't contradict itself whatsoever it says in there if you give you give in secret it doesn't say stick a plate in their face and they'll give. That's been one of my major issues with churches. And I've also did a challenge. It should be on YouTube still. We we'll go to your church, take a three-week challenge. If you think your church is holy, do the three-week challenge. That's in those other videos. Go dress it normally. Reduce what's given the plate. See if anybody takes notice. Second week, dress in worse clothing. Put less in the plate. Third week, Find the worst clothes you can. No money in the plate. See what kind of attitude you get from the people. Write them down. Talk about them. Discuss them. Even show them to me. I don't care anymore. I just want you to take that challenge and see where your church stands. Is your church a house of God or is it a house of man? Is it its own control or is it under God's control? And you'll know by their fruits. He says you'll know them by their fruits. You will know them by their fruits. And I'm sick of this. I'm just sick of the ignorance and the stupidity. And then this person comes back to attack me because I proved my point to her. And do you know who you are, brother and sisters, that have challenged the same person? God bless you guys. Have a great day. It's a short message. It's just two minutes and 22 seconds here, or a little bit more. But you got to understand, church and fellow Christians, he says right here in Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 15, O Lord, thou knowest, remember me and visit me and revenge me and my persecutors. Take me not away in thy long suffering. Know that for thy sake I have suffered rebuke. Thy words were found, I did eat them. And thy word was unto me joy, the joy, excuse me, and rejoicing of mine heart, for I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. I sat not in the assembly of mockers, nor rejoiced. I sat alone because of thy hand, for thou hast filled me with indignation. Why is my pain perpetual and my wound incurable, which refuseth to be healed? Wilt thou altogether be unto me as a liar, and as waters that fail? Verse 19, let's go here. This one I really love too. Therefore, the saith the Lord, if thou return, then I will bring thee again, and thou shalt stand before me. And if thou take forth the precious from the vial, thou shalt be as my mouth. Let them return unto thee, but return not thou unto them. I And, and here's God's promise to him. And I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall, and they shall fight against thee. They shall not prevail. But they shall not prevail against thee, for I am with thee to save thee, and to deliver thee, saith the Lord. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked, and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. God just told me to open the Bible, and I opened it to Jeremiah 15. 15 to the end of the chapter. Mock me, ridicule me, scorn me. You know, if, if I've shaken the dust on my feet of you, and you come back and you keep attacking me, I'm going to keep pointing out that you're wrong. God's not debatable. God's not a secret. There's no secret to God. God for so, so go to John 3.16. You want to know how secret God is? It says right there in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Okay, goes further. For God sent not his son to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. So, um, 
Uh, that might not be exactly accurate, but that is the gist of what he's saying there. He loved us so much. There is no secret to God. The mystery of God is that he loves you. And he wants you to be up there with him on judgment day. Perfect, whole, clean, white as snow. That's what he says. Uh, my boss, Keith, he made the perfect comment. This is just a shell. This body is just a shell. It's who we are on earth. Our spirit is what matters. And our spirit and our soul is using this body while on earth. Think about that. Just a daily rant. Talk to you later, guys. Have a good day. God bless you.